Bellevue Philharmonic Orchestra was started by R. Joseph Scott in 1968. And uh, he ran an advertisement in the Bellevue American for musicians that would like to start an orchestra. And, he, and they had a fee for belonging to the orchestra. It was a community orchestra and it grew from those roots. It was well received. Uh, uh, at the beginning, certainly, uh, they, they had full houses, but of course the venues were small at, at that time. Uh, at the beginning, our Joseph Scott never got paid. Eventually, they did pay the principal uh, members of the sections in the about 1999, I think, or 98, the orchestra turned fully professional where all the members of the orchestra were paid a fee, including, of course, the conductor. My name is Fusao Kajima, and the conductor. Fusao Kajima was conductor for 10 years, and in the last two or three years, Michael Maripolsky uh, was the conductor, who is a member of the Seattle Symphony Orchestra. Some of the performances that stood out in my memory was the night in Vienna. They were actually beautiful balls. Uh, the ladies all dressed up in long gowns, beautiful gowns, beautiful ladies. Of course, the men had to wear tuxedos. And the orchestra played Strauss and some contemporary music for a whole evening. And it's not very often you have a full symphony orchestra play for your dancing pleasure. It was a fabulous evening. They annually did a Christmas concert for many years in the, the Winter Garden in downtown Bellevue, and it drew huge crowds. They also do the Messiah annually, usually in some church. The other one that comes to mind, the 4th of July concert in the, in the downtown Bellevue Park. Uh, this year, the orchestra will be playing their last concert in the park, and this has been funded by the Bellevue Downtown Association. And, of course, the orchestra is getting really a minimal pay for doing it, but I think it's the love of doing it and the sense of community is the reason that is being put on. Funding the orchestra has always been difficult. I know there's a great camaraderie built up amongst the orchestra members, and they did their best by taking very reduced pay to keep the orchestra alive. And it just couldn't happen and didn't happen because we were not getting the financial support we needed, and for that matter, the attendance. It's my hope that there'll be a time come, hopefully in my lifetime, that someone will resurrect the orchestra again. And certainly with the building of the Takahuchi Center, it's going to be a great stimulus to do that again. The orchestra brought an opportunity for the citizens on the east side to attend and listen to classical music. Music of any kind brings a sense of enjoyment to people who hear it and like it.
If you'd like more information about the Bellevue Philharmonic Orchestra, you can visit their website at bellevuephil.org.